Screw the rest of you, you're not- they don't say anything really important, so I will just skip on. They'll talk to you about really interesting things, but for now, I'm just going to talk to him. Oh wait, he just says, go ahead and stand on the bow. You should be able to see Moribia. Alright, we walk to the bow, and then we're gonna... Wow! It's even more magnificent than I imagined, Alex! So that's basically an excuse to hear Null's voice one more time, real voice one more time. You know, a whole lot of this game is not actually voice acted, which is kind of weird. Even Potful Mail had more voice acted scenes, but I don't know, I guess they had limitations. And I guess the Japanese game is the same way too. Where a lot of the dialogue is not actually voiced, just in very important cutscenes, or sometimes unimportant cutscenes. Uh, well, it's been fun, but I have some business to attend to. I'll be in Moribia for a while. If you need to find me here, I'll, I'm usually speaking to my fellow mages on Black Rose Street. So long then. The interesting thing about Null's voice is that in the PSP, he doesn't sound anything like that. They made him sound more masculine. So some people can't get over it, but I actually don't know what the, the Japanese version of Null... Japanese Null sounds like. I might have to look that up after this stream. At last, we're finally in Moribia. I'm going to find a shop and sell the diamond. See you later. We're gonna be rich, Alex. Filthy, stinking rich. Hehehe, <laughs> I think I'm almost as excited, as excited as he is. Come on, Alex, let's look around. One of the four heroes, Master Mel, lives in this in this city. You want to see him, don't you, Alex? Definitely. Okay, so normally I would explore the town, but I already did that in the pre. I don't think I need to. I can show you. I can show the. Just go through it really quick. So if you went go down here, you can go to. I think that's the, sh the street with the mages is over there. And you can go up. And there are shops around but you already i'm just gonna it's just a really really quick t tour and that's where master mel is so you go here and like if you go to the right again you can actually go visit the harbor but there isn't anything you can do here so hi illusion um i'm actually replaying a little bit of this because twitch deleted the broadcast that you and king bubbles commented in when we were in Moribia for the first time. So I'm just showing what hap what you would have ha been able to explore. And I'm just doing this really quick and going through a few scenes. So I have it recorded on Twitch and I can upload it to YouTube. Twitch decided that six days was enough to delete a broadcast even though they say 14 days in their policy. So I'm ending up having to do this all over again. But fortunately, I'm just going to show the important NPC conversations. I'm just going to skip all the NPCs. Then we're going to go to Vayne tonight. And welcome to the stream. Yeah, it sucks. And you guys had actually funny comments too, so I can't, unfortunately, we had the whole um, debate about what Null is, but unfortunately that got deleted by Twitch, so. Oh yeah, here's the here's the sister of that witch. Oh my, are you lost, cat? You'll find a nice home at the bottom of my stomach. <laughs> hey, I've heard that voice somewhere before. I remember now! It's the old hag from Calder Isle who gave us the water cane! Oh, do you know my sister? Is she still living out in the middle of nowhere all by herself? I wish she'd come back to Black Rose Street to live with me again. But she said she loved the peace and quiet of the woods. Ha! She's just too stubborn to admit she misses me! Yeah, you can't recover uh streams that were lost oh and yeah that's the sister of the witch uh she won't eat you thankfully uh let's do the whole fortune teller scene again i always forget her name i'll remember it now when she gets introduced and that's what happened huh why is nash in cahoots with the the fortune teller i still haven't determined if singing is the key 
but I have a strong suspicion that it is. Nash, your friends have come. Alex, Luna, did you think to knock before entering? Hey, wait, here's the scene. seem to have guests, but I welcome those pursuing knowledge, as always. For you see, I am a student of knowledge, past, present, and future. I can foretell many things in the future. So, let's see your future. That's why you came to me today, isn't it? Hmm. Even after what? Even where I am in the game, I still don't know what she's up to. She was, she wanted to confirm that Luna had was, was doing something, so she showed up in the sewers later on. Oh, oh, I forgot. I can't talk about that yet because this is a part. Anyway, you'll see what happens when you watch the later parts. So anyway, I'm gonna continue with this so we can get this over with. We really didn't come to learn anything in particular. We were just we were trying to find Nash. Oh really? From what I glimpse of your future, child, you need my services quite desperately. So many so many of the questions you have about yourself are ones that I could answer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, sorry my my shocked face. My uh, cringy face. Well, <laughs> Luna seems Luna has is just made silent by that. And you, Alex, you you seek to become the greatest hero our world has ever known. But you are too humble to be a dragon master. You are unwilling to choose power and glory over friends and family. This will be your undoing. So what's my fortune, lady? Licking your paws and coughing up hairballs, cat. It is an insult to think I would waste my energy looking into the future of a rodent. Hey, we gotta go for a bit. I'll try to get back in. Oh yeah, I, I'll probably still be around for a little bit. And I guess I'll see you later, Illusion. Thanks for stopping by really quickly. I'm not a cat! Alex, Luna, have you finished your tour of the city? Having lived in the des desolation of Calder Isle, you two must be completely overwhelmed. I'm sure you are just in time, and and if you don't, I'll be that much more amused. Thanks. Nash, what were you asking the fortune teller about? Hoping she might know a spell to cure bad hair days? Oh. Can cats aren't rodents, so I don't understand. You rude, li you rude little rodent. In fact, I asked her. Well, it's... None of your business anyway, is it? Ooh, I know what it is. You asked her to see if there's a woman in your future. This is so nostalgic because I love Lunar too. Luna looked like Althina. I don't have not played Lunar 2, so I will just ignore that comment for now. Unless it's a, I guess if it's not a big spoiler, I don't know. Anyway, so hi uh Relina. Uh, let's see. And thanks for stopping by. Um, this is actually I'm actually just going through this section really fast because a uh, Twitch just deleted the broadcast where I played this part, so I have to just go through it really quick, so I can upload it on YouTube for archiving. All right. Uh, see you in a bit, Illusion. Um, let's see. Hehehe. <laughs> Nash wants a girlfriend. Good luck, Tiger. Oh my. Misunderstanding. I'm sorry, but Royce and I have several topics to discuss. And none of them are meant to be heard by anyone other than ourselves. Surely there's something else you could do in the meantime. Huh, I never talked to him the third time. Why don't you go visit Master Mel? I'm sure he'll keep you entertained for hours. And it'd be rather prudent for a potential Dragon Master to say hello to him. So, okay, so the fortune teller's name is Royce. I forgot that from last time, but now I remember. Alex, why don't you greet Master Mel while we're in Moribia? He just wants me to get out of here, doesn't he? I thought we already discussed this on the Hispaniola. 
Don't you think it's worth your while to greet one of da Dragon Master Dine's closest friends? Uh, yeah, he's just gonna say the same thing. What do you have to say to me, Royce? Welcome, children. I am Royce. Is there a loved one you seek? A business matter for which you need advice. A question about an affair of the heart. Whatever your problem, I have the solution. Alex, I don't know why, but I feel weird and nervous. I can reach into your future and reveal whatever you wish to learn of it. Of course, not everyone is prepared to embrace the hand of destiny. Okay, so she says the same thing. I'm done talking to Royce and Nash. So that's all the conversations with those char those characters. Uh, this street would have equipment for Nash, and I'll actually visit it in my other file. And let me see. I'll just move. My I'll just show you guys where the broadcast ended. So if you go through the village here, there's the goddess statue over here, so you can heal yourself. And you can't go up there. If you try to go up there, uh, it says the proclamation. The mountain road to Nanza has been closed indefinitely due to the danger posed by ra ra roving bandits. Marimbians are not allowed to travel the road until further notice, especially foolish young daughters. Signed, Governor Mel de, de Alkirk. Roving bandits, Alex? It sounds kind of dangerous. And if you try to go... Wait a mi minute, Alex. Are you going to go without Ramus? Yeah, that's what happens. So, technically, you're supposed to go here and go up into Mel's mansion. And at this point, this is where I would stop. So, I will make a save over here just in case. But I think I'm not going to touch it. So once I save here. Uh, actually, I don't know if I need to save. I could probably just do all that again. Mm, yeah, I'm not going to save for now. I'm going to leave that save. Leave this just in case this gets this broadcast gets deleted. And let's go actually go play where we actually are in the game.